Click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, today we will talk about the views of data in three different parts. The first part will be the data abstraction part, the next part will be the instances and schemas part, and the last part will be the abstraction and instance schemas combination. Now, when we talk about an DBMS, the database systems is all about interrelated information of a particular enterprise or a company or a relevant information. So the most important thing that is keep in mind when we talk about a DBMS is to provide a level of instruction when providing and accessing the data. Now when we are accessing data in a DBMS, there should be various level of abstraction so that the user, the administrator, even the different types of users can get different types of data. So first we will talk about the abstraction on the database. There are mainly three level of abstraction. The first level is the physical level. The physical level consists the lowest level of abstraction on a data. That gives us the information that how the data is stored and maintained in a database. So that is all about the database schema, the data definitions on a particular data or a data about the data. So this needed to be hide from this particular user usage because the user need not to know that why and how the user or the data is getting stored and accessed from the database. The next level of abstraction is the logical level of abstraction. In the logical level, we can say that it talks about the entire part of the DBMS or the data. So when we are talking about that entire part, we can say that there is a relation and the data models along with this relation. So the table is called a relation and there should be multiple columns each of its will be of different types or a same data type but containing different values. Now the values is stored in this attributes and a particular data that is pointing to this data part is known as a tuple. So this tuple can consist all information about a particular relation in that particular table. So in this way, the logical level can give us that there should be many sub schemas and the physical levels of abstraction. So logical level, a very simple abstraction, but it can consist a complex physical level of abstraction. But that is being hidden from the particular usage of the user. So it is known as the physical data independence because the user is not aware of the complexity and can see only the logical level of abstraction. The next level of abstraction is a view level of abstraction. As we know that different types of users can give different types of authorization to access the particular database. So there should be many different types of views of a particular database on a single database there should lie a multiple views so that every type of view can be given to different type of users which are the intended use is different. So in this way the view level is the highest level of abstraction that can be given to any of the user. Next is the logical level and next is the physical level. So now we will see how these relations are interrelated in terms of this abstraction. So this is basically the view level which can contain many views depending on the use. So this view level is the outermost level or it is the actual interpretation or the user can see it. The next level that is related to this view level is the logical level. So the next level of abstraction is the logical level of abstraction. And the innermost level or the last level is the physical level of abstraction.
So this is all about the data abstraction of a views of a data. Next we will move to the instances and schema part. As we know that the schema is the basic description of the data types and the storage of a DBMS or the database system. So whenever we are talking about a schema that is handled by only the database administrator and not the users which can get change and update or modify the schemas. When we talk about the instances, that is the value of a particular data type on that particular instant of the database. Say for an example that salary is an attribute of a database and a salary of an employee is 5000 at dated 2009 of July and 2009 of August it will be incremented or it can be decremented in any of the updation and it will be changed on the particular value of the instance. So the values of the data can get changed depending on the situation on the user is how handling it. So these are the instances and schemas. So as we know, there are many different types of attributes alonging with an enterprise or an institution or a university. So there should be many types of schemas and instances on a particular tip. So we will see it with an example. Here we can see in a university enterprise, we are introducing a structured type of data type that is an instructor. And itself the data type is containing four different data types that is one ID of a character and the name that is also a character, the department name that the instructor is associated with and the last one is the salary of that particular instructor. So this is being done on a data type instructor which is a structured data type. So along with this instructor as we know that an enterprise can have various types of encoded and the attributes. So we will name some attributes and then see that how these views and schemas are depending on the instances. So here we can see that along with the instructor, the universities is having its department, course and student field. So the department field is having the department name from which the instructor can choose his department and that contains a referential integrity. So this type of course and student relation that is also containing the department name and the course is concerning also the department name. So this level of abstraction that the schema is being hidden from the view level or the logical level. So whenever this type of is done, so it is considered as a physical schema that is related with the physical level. Now when we talk about the logical schema, it is generally dependent on the instances or the logical part that are the actual values that say a student having an ID S001 or a department name say for MCA or BCA. So whenever these things are done, so that is be considered as a logical part or the logical data and is handled by the logical schema. So whenever the optation and modification is done, it is done by the DMO, not the DDL, which is used to update the database schema or the actual physical level schema. So here also we can define the physical level or the physical data independence on the schema part. So whenever this implementation is hidden from the user, so the user can get input only on the values of that particular fields and not can see that what are the constraints that are already be given to the physical level. So now we can see that the differentiation of the field, physical and logical level of abstraction and the instances and schemas depending on it. The last type that is combination of both of it is the data models. So as we can see that we are containing a table, all the data information are related 
put into a table that is called a relation. Each column can have multiple attributes and that is known as the values. And when we are referring a data dictionary that is containing a data index which should point to a particular data or a particular record in that data or the relation that is known as a tuple which will point to the record. Say for an example, if we are talking about a record in this department of the university, so we can get the ID, the department name and the total credit of that student. So that we can refer to the department name and get the values of the department field. So this department relation and the course relation and the student relation can be interrelated in a model that is known as a relational model. So this type of model basically shows the relationship among the instances and the schemas of a particular database system. The next type of model we'll see is the entity relationship model or the ER model. Here every attribute or a value is considered an entity and the transactions or the operations are based on that entity can be given and described using a diagram and then the diagram can be used to specify that what are the operations or what are the other entities that is related to the particular object or that entity of the database system. So these are the two models. Other than that, we can say of a network-based model, which we can ascribe by the star network or any other type of network, and a hierarchical model, which will first construct the database schema, then the logical level, and then the actual instances on that schema. So in this way, we can describe the views of the data in abstraction, the instances on schemas, and the data models related to it. Thank you for watching this video. Stay tuned with Ikira and subscribe to Ikira.